Hey, welcome to Two Oz Autism Truths and One Lie. And today I have my friend Shelly Nastupa. And I am so excited to have you today because you and I, I, you and I live in the same area. And I mean, I think our cross, her paths might have crossed, but maybe not. But it's like I, I knew your name, and then I did not put it together that you did the fabulous blog autism through his eyes and so she's also an autism mama you got to check out her blog we'll put the link below so you can see it um it's popular it is you are saying all the things that people need to hear because it's growing by leaps and bounds so anyway congrats on the growth that thank you, you and the people that you're helping and thank you for joining us today well thank you julie so are you ready to play Let's do this. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm gonna share my three things. You gotta guess which one is a lie, okay? You okay. Ready? All right, um, so my daughter learned to ride her bike as she was about eight. And we had paved areas kind of around the parks. And we had taken her to a new park where there was like a nice little stretch of where she didn't have to make a turn because we were working on just kind of like speed and things. And so she's riding her bike and there is some older people walking and they're not moving. Like, and she, <laughs> you know, they probably assume she can go off the side, but she cannot, she cannot go off onto the grass. She doesn't know how to do that yet. So as she gets closer, she just starts screaming at the top of her lungs, old man, get out of the way, get out of the way, old man. So that's the first one. Okay. The second one has to do when she was a lot younger. She was about, um, I would say three and a half because we were just done potty training, pee training. So we had been pee training, but she wasn't quite poop trained and we were really working on it, but she would go to her early childhood intervention school. And, um, you know, they knew we were working on it, but as they would bring her out to carpool, I just would always roll down the window. And one day they come out and I, like when they walked out the front door, I could smell. Oh no. Just the stench and you know what your own kids poop smells like you know <laughs> and I, she walks up and she just has like a wipe of poo on her face <laughs> and reach and I'm not kidding when I say it was intense stink okay that's number two <laughs> the third one is that my daughter um, was when she was younger quite an escape artist and I mean I think she really planned things because she got away so much and so at the grocery store we were we were working on the skill of walking to the cart because she had gotten too big to be like in the cart and so um I just grabbed something and turned around and she is gone and so oh. I'm walking up and down the aisles looking for her and finally I see her in the potato chip aisle <laughs> with her gluten-free <laughs> laid potato chips with it open and she's just shoving it in. <laughs> oh, those are some good ones. Some really good ones. Okay, so we just recently learned how to ride a bike this year too. So listening to that story totally can relate with the grass and realizing that you can't just veer off. Um, so part of me thinks that one's true. The potty training I think is true. Um, because number two is just a whole nother face. So I get that part. Um, so I'm going to go that number three is the lie. I think she ran off, but I don't know if she ate the chips. Um, you are right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, of course. Yeah. The, we've had several incidents on the bikes. And that was one of them just screaming Good. at people to get out of the way because she didn't know how to stop the bike. She didn't know how to quite slow it down <laughs> well. And it was just like really messy at the beginning learning, you know, and, and yeah, we offended a lot of people, a lot of people. That, it, 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 it literally is one of our um, programs right now in ABA as mm -hmm. far as like stopping and identifying no cars, no cars, oh, just yeah. trying to get some of that safety because you're right. I mean, they get on there and, the independence just opens up and so they're just free and literally well, and and <laughs> see someone in front of them and problem solve that out in the moment is a really big deal you know yeah. and, um, it was for her as well um okay so then so, the, the okay. smelling poo i mean honestly i was mortified because i felt so bad for this woman <laughs> and the aide when she comes in i mean it, she reeked i knew she was gonna have to shower immediately when she went home but she was so nice about it i said oh 
<laughs> have an accident today and she goes oh it was just fun you know but I'm like I mean it, it must have been all over her body like it was so great right. <laughs> yeah and I made up the grocery store one it just feels like something happened that didn't happen. yeah that's that's so neat that was those were good very good okay you, right. you ready yeah I can't okay wait. Okay, so my son uses a communication device. He uses an iPad and uses the Prolico to go app for his communication. Mm -hmm. And we were headed to the airport one morning. And so we were loading up and my husband was, you know, get, we were getting loaded. He was putting the luggage in and we get about halfway there. And he immediately kind of goes in shock and is like, where's Cody's Pex? We call it Pex. And we looked around and didn't see it anywhere. And the light turned green and we were literally taking off and looked in the rearview mirror and all you hear is thump, 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 thump. Looked in the intersection and there is his only communication device. Oh like, my God. I mean, was the window open? Am I allowed to ask he, questions? He had absolutely, he had set it on top of the car when he was loading Cody. Oh, your husband did. Yes. Oh, okay. I was, All right. I was dropping him in my oldest off for a baseball tournament. So I was driving and that's, anyway, it was very surreal. Okay. okay. So the second one happens to be about potty training too. So by far um, for, uh, for me was probably one of the biggest achievements that I ever had with parenting, but by far the hardest. Um, but we literally spent 96 hours and lived in the bathroom that entire time. So I had my clipboard, I had, you know, I was taking data on, you know, fluid intake, fluid outtake, the timer, um, and we never left. The kid ate more Fruit Loops. Actually, he had two boxes of Fruit Loops within that four days. <laughs> Okay, we don't allow that cereal in our home. That's just something we don't do. Yeah, okay. And then um, he watched more PBS Kids app than he ever has probably have watched in a lifetime. But he was potty trained in four days. So I was Whoa. very, very excited. Yes, Whoa. yes. Just number one, not number two. That was, you know, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. So, yes. And then my third one is, um, it's about me. So back to school. It's stressful, new routines, things, everyone's kind of a little bit out of whack to get, you know, kind of get adjusted from, from summer. And um, one morning I had gotten up and alarm went off and I'm, I'm scurrying around kind of in the dark because my husband's not up yet. And I go into the bathroom and uh, to brush my teeth and I grab my toothbrush and grab what I thought was a tube of my Sensodyne toothpaste put it on my toothbrush and proceeded to brush my teeth with desitin butt paste. Oh man. If, anyone, if any mom knows, um, that is really hard to wash out of your mouth, off your tongue. You can kind of get the visual. <laughs> I still can taste it to this day. I believe it was horrible. So those are my three. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to back, we're going to back way through it. Hi to your dog too. He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to say the butt paste situation has happened um, because it just feels like we are so exhausted and it totally just feels like something that an autism mom would do. Um, and I mean, I'm going to say the potty training thing is true. It sounds like if that is true, that is almost, we must have done it the same because I mean, <laughs> Like we should talk potty training and we'll probably, we can write a book between the two of us maybe. <laughs> I did the same thing when Lizzie was really young and I was, I mean, I was obsessed with it. I'm like, I'm, I'm all in. Anything I do, I'm all in, you know? Mm -hmm. So I love that about you too. So I feel like, although that totally could have happened with communication device, it probably has happened like with your purse or with coffee and you just transferred it over and made it that story. So I'm going to say the first one about the iPad is false. No. no. Oh, man. <laughs> that actually was true. Um, oh. And it was devastating, but I will tell you, in fact, I even wrote a blog about it because of the case. Yeah. Um, it, it broke into four pieces, but the actual iPad didn't even have a scratch. 
And Are it's you me? What I am not use? kidding. Well, I'll have to share it with you because I don't know the name of it, but okay. it's, it's an Amazon purchase. It was okay. you know, definitely off Amazon, but I can't think of the brand right now. Well, when we but post we, this, we'll put the link under there too. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Um, but it literally um, broke into four different pieces as far as the actual casing and wow. did not harm it a bit. I mean, it was, oh my it, gosh, it was a blessing. I mean, that someone is crazy. <laughs> crazy story that is that is what I'm talking about crazy right <laughs> right absolutely get out uh, well my phone's ringing my apologies no it's fine it's like this is our normal life we just okay. We can't, you know. so okay so then yeah the, which one was the lie did, you didn't so say the lie was we did potty train within 96 hours okay but we were only in the bathroom during waking hours so we did oh. actually go to bed okay but that 12, 15 hour day was literally spent in the bathroom. I had all his toys. He did need two boxes of Fruit Loops. <laughs> Maybe a half a box. Yeah, um, so that was a major exaggeration lie, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So that, that part and that we weren't in there the four, the four solid days, but we were all in. I mean, it yeah. was a, it was one of those things where I'm like, we're gonna do this. And so we did. And, and, and we were very successful with it. Um, you know, there was getting peed on was very successful. Yeah. Because awesome. <laughs> that means, our, that means we created those opportunities to, right. to get, yes. that, get oh, that. I love it. I love it. Yes. We, we could do a whole video on potty training. So, <laughs> and so it really did happen with the, with the brushing of the teeth. That is so, oh, that is so good. Julie, it was horrible. I mean, at literally about 10 minutes after it happened, I, you know, you, you couldn't get the taste out of your mouth. And then I got a little nauseous and I, I had, I was coming into the kitchen and, you know, I'm like, Brad, I, I don't feel real good. So of course he's reading about it and it tells you to seek immediate attention. You know, if, if you do yeah, swallow any of it. Um, so anyway, it was one of those things where I, t to this day, I still can taste it. And, you know, I don't know if you used, you know, that, uh, that diaper cream when you were with your little ones, but it, it does not, it doesn't wash off. It's very water repellent. It was, oh. it, it was the worst. <laughs> I am so sorry for you. I feel like the whole entire eating experience has now been tainted in your world. Right. <laughs> well, now I turn the bathroom mind on for sure. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your stories. Oh, um, this was fun. Thank you. It really was. You're delightful. And um, everyone needs to check out your blog. Just look below. You'll see the link and you can check it out on Facebook or on the blog or on all the socials. So thank you again, Shelly. You're so fun. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Julie. Bye. Bye.